Pearl Tutorial Part 27 Writing and Appending a Text File First of all we're going to write something to a text file. If the text file doesn't exist it will be created automatically so first of all we open and then we use what we call a file handle which is a name we refer to our file with which is explained in the previous tutorial also. Now if we want to write something to our file we place the greater than sign in there and then our file name. Okay so we're going to open our file one.txt I'm going to write to it, this is our file handle, and now we're going to print, we use our file handle, let's print hello, and then a new line character, and then finally we close our file using our file handle. So we will open a file, this file doesn't exist but it will be created and we will write the word hello with a new line character to the file and close the file. So let's run this. Okay so that has created my file, this, I haven't set this to print anything out. So let's have a look at this file. So here's the file that has been created with the word hello and going to a new line. Now I'll close this. Now when we write to a file it'll just keep overwriting so if I run this again our file has just been overwritten nothing has been added to it so it'll just keep writing over itself. Now that's when um, the append we can append to a file and that is when what we write to a file keeps getting added on to what is previously there so we keep collecting data in a file so let's just copy this block of code and let's append to file two that doesn't exist but will be created. Now all we have to do to append to a file is just put two greater than signs in here and now if we run this and go have a look at our file here's our file two that's just been written with the word hello and a new line character. Now let's run let's run this again and append to file 2. Okay, let's have a look at our file. So we have appended to file 2 and we now have two hellos and a new line character that's ready to receive the next line of data. So let's run this again. Yep, okay, now let's have a look. And now we have three hellos, each on their own line with a new line character ready for the next one. So that's appending. I'd now like to show you a very important function in regards to writing and appending files especially when they are up on a server and you may have various users accessing and writing to the same file at the same time things can overwrite each other and you can lose data so we need to lock the file so to do that we use a function called flock which means file lock 
and then our handle and then to lock our file exclusively we put the number 2 in there so this will lock the file exclusively so when it's opened by a user it cannot be opened by another user and, and printed to until it's been closed by the person who's using the file so that means no two people can write to the same file or append to the same file at the same time and that will prevent data from being overwritten so that's the basic writing and appending to files can be done on your local computer or on your server.